Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy and I have a flip through for you today of this journal that I finished um, just recently. So let me take the binding off. This is just a ribbon, um, really pretty. It's a nice taupe brown or fawn color maybe. Um, so this is an altered book. Uh, it's a newer book and I made it look old. <laughs> um, the colors are all very monochromatic and I'm really kind of loving that. So uh, let me kind of walk you through it. So the, uh, the uh, I always forget the name of it, but the papers I used are from this Kaiser Craft um, paper pad. It's called Pen and Ink. And yeah, so uh, if you want to try and do another journal, if you want to make a journal with these papers, there you go, you can find it that way. So um, as you can see that that um, cover image is from this paper pad. Um, for the spine, I just used um, some packing paper and uh, some tea dyed tracing paper over the top of it. And uh, I'm really loving how that turned out, it just kind of ripped it and tore it and I need to uh, add some more glue right there but um, that thing is glued down and um, yeah so I'm really loving how that spine turned out I was not sure what to do to be honest um, and I love how it turned out so good times okay so altered book that means I removed pages from the book and then um, decorated the pages that were left so um, using uh, papers from that paper pad as the background papers and then there's like a bunch of tuck spots and um, journaling cards that are uh, tucked in throughout um, all of them are backed with some kind of tea dyed paper uh, uh, or packing paper. Um, I've used some Tim Holtz uh, vintage photographs and Tim Holtz people throughout as well. This actually came from one of the pages in the um, paper pad and I cut a bunch of the pictures off of it and made them into um, ephemera that I've just used throughout the journal too. So there's a lot of places for you to write if you want to write on that or write on this is a belly band here so I just tucked a piece of paper in be um, behind that um, or you could put your own pictures there um, I thought this would be a really good journal for um, family memories that kind of thing so I got a big pocket there and then nice big tag that you can do some journaling on same with over here this is a nice page for journaling. I try to make sure and keep as much <clears throat> places for journaling as I possibly could. Um, you know, it's it's a limited number of pages, but I feel like that this journal has a lot of paper and pages where you can write. So you can write there. Um, there are some pages that I did not add anything to, but this is a, a pocket here. You've got a double pocket here. So back there, you've got this nice big journaling card. Um, and then, uh, forgive me, I have a cold right now, so another journaling card here, and so, and then decorate it again with some of the Tim Holtz uh, people, and then uh, some washi tape, Tim Holtz washi tape, and then these were um, the ephemera that I made from the um, paper. So a little bit of lace um, throughout the journal as well, another big, nice big journaling card here and lots of room for writing on both sides of this one and you've got two big pockets both with nice big journaling cards so you could easily put pictures and then write about those pictures on the back side uh, or whatever you want to do um, this could be a planner if you wanted to use it as that uh, maybe for a month or two depending on how much you need for a planner um, so here we've got two pockets and they each have a smaller journaling card tucked in. Um, there's that really pretty floral design and a little chandelier there. Here is another big pocket so you've got lots of room. You could throw a card in there if you got a greeting card or you know stationery if you wanted to send someone something. Again I made sure to keep a lot of writing space as much as I could. Um, this is a uh, printable from 
I can't remember where, but I'll put their name at the bottom in the uh, description box. And then this has just been tea dyed. So um, that is some extra writing space for you. Same uh, from the same uh, Etsy shop there. Another digital kit, uh, digital print off there. Um, this page I love so much. Really big pocket right there for you to put some more things in. Here we've got uh, some more writing space here, or you could even turn that into a little booklet maybe or something. This is some paper. I can't get it. It's glued onto my finger at the moment, so sorry about that. <laughs> it's distracting. Um, and we've got a nice big pocket right there. Again, more room for you to add your own things. Cute little uh, collage here with this Tim Holtz people, some of the paper from the paper pad and then that from the paper pad that I cut out. Two journaling cards. Um, this is uh, another big pocket and then tucked into that I put this again from that same Etsy shop with um, the digital kit. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and include this and that's been tea dyed. It's a little bit snug. Um, I do find that it helps if you kind of open the page just a little bit. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, this page, you've got two pockets. One huge one here. Lots of writing space. And then, okay, if I could get that to go straight. Um, another tuck spot down here. And then this is just kind of like a little remnant of a piece of paper um, tucked in there. So you could go ahead and make a little note there or something. Here is another pocket that I didn't uh, put anything in and another big page for writing space there. Two pockets again on this page. Here you've got this nice big journaling card and then um, tucked into this little spot is just another little snippet um, from that digital kit. Um, so you could keep that there or put something else of your own in there of course. Another double pocket on this page. You've got this nice journaling card. It's kind of like the size of a, a recipe uh, uh, card. Um, and then tucked behind that. <clears throat> here, let me pull that out. There you can see it a little better. So you've got a pocket there and then a pocket here. And so you've got this big journaling card here. And then another one here with a nice chandelier. All of these have tabs that I created from either scraps from the paper that was left over or some sari silk that I've had or just ribbon or whatever it is. So um, that's pretty fun. Uh, you've got a double pocket. There's a pocket there and another big pocket over here. A little bit of writing space here if you wanted and down here. And again, another um, from that digital kit. So I just included that over here. Um, here this page has this nice big pocket with this journaling card. Uh, I do believe this, yes, this is, you could tuck something behind there. I did not add anything, but you could add a, be, a piece of paper or something and tuck that up, up into that chandelier if you wanted to. Another big pocket, and actually maybe, maybe I'll just move this over to here instead and we'll just that way we can see that that's a pocket and it won't get forgotten about and then now you have two big pockets right here ready for you to add whatever it is that you want oh and then this is also uh, a belly band so you could actually write on the back of that post uh, picture if you wanted to I just love that picture they look um, not happy but they look like they're having a good day <laughs> Um, and then two, pa <clears throat> two pages here with some really tall journaling cards, um, both backed with some of that packing paper. And now we're on our last page here. We've got a little pocket here. I just folded up a piece of that packing paper and tucked that in. You could add so much more up here if you wanted to. You could even use this as a label for whatever you decide to put in there. And then on this last page, we've got this great, two great photos. Um, 
And again, you can use the back of this to journal on. So, yep, easier to put it back in. <laughs> easier to take it out than to put it back in. Um, but that's a great little spot there for some more photos if you want. So, hope you enjoyed um, coming along with me as I made this journal. I sure enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the flip through. So, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.